Okay, I'm going to unbox this Eagle 765 CFN cordless blower. I know there's a lot of, um, I guess, uh, online unboxing reviews. It's been out for a year or so. I could not find the information so I need for online. So I'm going to make a video. Hopefully people looking for the same thing I was looking for can find this review. I'm uh, gonna skip a lot of other stuff, a lot of people say. First thing first. No one show me this thing. All right. So on the box says it's 5 amp hour battery. I mean, is it a three generation, third generation, first generation, second generation? So this is a December 26. Or 26, 27, 2023. So let's see what kind of battery do I get at this time. Do I get third generation? Because I got this on, on Amazon at $245. It was $300 somewhat dollars. And um, basically, it's the same price as a 5 amp, 3, 5 amp uh, hour battery. Okay. And also, what does it include in the kit? I'm going to go very slowly so everyone can see it. Hopefully there's not too much reflection from the sun. Okay, it comes a charger, a battery, a strap, a wide leaf blower, and a cone, and a long cone, uh, the blower itself. Okay, and this model is LP7654. Uh, and everything in the back, I haven't even seen it yet. Um, okay, I'm going to show you this. Maybe you can take a screenshot real quick. The description, you can pause it and read it. Okay, it says 70 minutes. Okay, to four, zero to four, full charge. So it's an hour and 10 minutes. Let's open this. Oh, I also ordered this piece. This is the latest Eco short nozzle. Okay, it's very short. Um, the other short nozzle I ordered is just about this long. So it's about an inch longer. This is the shortest one. The aftermarket ones is uh, about an inch longer with a different tip. So this piece is uh, it's a rubber. It is a rubber piece over it, as you can tell. Okay, it's a rubber sleeve, this entire section right here. And this, there's a little knob. I tried to figure out what this knob does, so I went ahead, used my 530 hookups, the short front end and the back. Now then fits this. This is a little bigger, so. And this seems like it clicks straight in to the back of the unit, uh, the front of the unit. So it's about an inch shorter than the other ones, which is great for drying cars and what that's what I'm using this for okay so opening up okay let's try it out this first it's the first time I've never seen it would it fit oh it does fit oh my god that was my biggest question. Will this new short nozzle from Eco, and I saw I saw a knob here, would it fit the the short end of the leaf blower? And it does. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now you can blow and short within a short instead of really long. Watch this. So people can see it. See I click. That's awesome. So this goes straight into the machine. Okay. Well, that answers my question. There's a strap. Great. And here's a, the tube. Oh, come with this. Okay. Here's the... Uh, okay. So this two diameter is nearly identical. Without the... The, the rubber sleeve so this piece and this piece is same and look at that 
and the clicks into it. You can even make a short nozzle of a nozzle. That's amazing. Okay. All right. That's great. If you don't want to scratch your rubber piece, you can use this to concentrate it. You know, whatever. Well, that's that's amazing. That's what I mainly is for this blower, because I can blow the the yard without using a long this piece. You know, look at that. Let's see on the screen. Oh, right. Is that amazing? That is awesome. Okay, so you need to get this piece. This piece is about twenty somewhat dollar, twenty four dollars or something. It's cheaper than the aftermarket. And click into all the all the attachments. Well, this is just a. I mean, you'll find a use for it. But this, whoo. Okay, I have to buy this just to figure out. No one does this on internet. I mean, okay. So now you know. You know. All right. So. The nozzle question, soft. I'm put on the side. See if I can put on the screen so people can see it. Right there. Okay, and this little long piece right there. Machine takes it out. Okay. So for sure, the long nozzle clicks in perfectly. Okay. The question is the short nozzle, the OEN Eco short nozzle, will it fit? Hey, look at that! And ta -da! amazing, amazing, nice. Okay, you can watch other videos if you want, but it for sure it works. Okay, it works. It works. Now. Let's go ahead and well there's another question I have is I have a hook I bought a uh, where's that ace hardware I bought a, a metal hook like that there's two hole drill a small hook about uh, maybe two inches long and I hung the uh, my 530 with a flat back okay so my biggest question is can I hung this because the 530 has a bar in the back so I can hunt it. So this piece, huh, there's no place I can hunt it this way. And I do see there's a knot. And this is the picture, this thing I wanna, wanna see online. No one ever filmed this thing all the way close enough for me to, okay, in comparison, this is my finger. Okay, so this is pretty big, fairly wide. It's not very deep though. If you look on the side of this sucker, let me see. It is not very deep. Over here. Let me see can I get. So when I might hook, hook it. Huh. Alright. Let's let's find out. After I film one more stuff, I don't want to bring the whole setup down there. But um I'll bring the camera down in a minute. Maybe I'll cut and paste, maybe I won't. Let's jump to the next question. Okay, is this a third generation or first or second? Battery. Okay, so here, this is the battery model. I don't have my phone with me. So it's BA280OT. Okay, is this, what generation is this? Okay, keep in mind this is December 27. When I order this, it's also on sale. It's the back of the battery. 5.8. Okay. I have no idea what generation this is. Does it say? Okay. Let's see. If it lights up in different gauges, I think that's the third generation. Okay, so it, it does have the the progress bar here. I think it's either third or second generation. I would bet it's the third generation. 
I mean, I have to Google it. You guys can Google it. And this is what it looks like. Kind of rotating it slowly so you can match with the picture. I know they all look different. Third, first, second generation. I, I try not to edit as much because I just stopped my video editing software. Okay, so here is, uh, okay. Here's my battery. I'm not sure you can read it. So basically what it says is made in April 2023. And it's 56 volt, 5 amp, 280 watts. So I believe because it's made this year, well, April and December now, I think this is a third generation. So even with a heavy discount, I was I was afraid, it's like, okay, I get this giant discount, like $100 off. Man, I probably gonna get like 100, you know, the first generation battery, which is like $200 on sale, $198 during Christmas. And for extra $40, there's no way I get a blower in the third generation battery. So I was figured, it's like, okay, I probably gonna get this 765 with a first generation battery or second generation battery. but. I think this is a third generation battery. Don't take my word for it. I'm going to Google it after this video. Okay. And here's the biggest question. How heavy is it? Oh, look, there's another hook right here. Check this out. There's another hook right here. You see, I'm going to do different profiles. Holy shit. Okay. All right. See how much it comes out. You see that hook? Maybe you will be able to hook onto the wall, the hook. But this is what I don't have at 530. This thing just keep blowing. I normally have to keep holding onto the trigger. I, I didn't even know this exists, okay. <laughs> So if I adjust it to the to the very top, that's the weakest I think or Okay, so yeah, this is the weakest when you get to the top. And we go down without holding it. Watch this. I didn't even hold the trigger. The question is how do I turn it off? Yes, you cannot turn it off once the battery is in. This is basically your power and trigger. Well, here's a trigger. When you on the lower setting, you can hold it. So, one thing uh, some other reviewer said: when you put on high, not the turbo, it blows out about as much as 530 uh, CFN. So it's basically the turbo, the whole time the turbo of my 530 CFN. And that's just, that's good enough for me to blow in the car. But because the battery is bad, it's been four years, 2.5 amp battery. Um, it only lasts about less, less than a minute on turbo. Literally, less than a minute. I have to let it cool down. Probably five minutes cool down, then I can blow another minute. So I try to drive my car like three intervals, maybe like three minute maximum before the battery just go red and blinking. So that was the old battery, 2.5 amp, four years. Uh, that's the reason I got this because I can, I can blow in a car every time, three minutes basically. But if I put on low, which is only 210 CFN, I can do about 35 minutes. But 210 CFN, the water won't even move. The wheels, maybe, you can get really close, the wheel will blow, but the water on the hood won't even move. The ceramic coated, it won't even, it won't, it's not fast enough to blow any water. Okay, so, it's fantastic. I can actually just use the high without a turbo, and I get about, I have no idea how long I get, 
But I think hopefully these 10 minutes of high, no turbo at 530. So at least I can wash one car, or drive one car properly. Okay, so that our original idea was gonna get this battery, but in order to get this battery, you have to get the new charger, which I just pulled it out. The new charger apparently is more powerful. It's 320 watts. I believe the old charger is only like 210 watts or something. So this charger will, should be able to charge the old battery and the new battery. And I might plug in them both if I need it. Okay, so in order to get this battery, you will need a charger. So this is like $240, $260. And the charger itself, I believe is like $35 or something, or I could be wrong, I don't know. You gotta look up. So it's like four, $300 just to get battery and charger. So that's why I decided if I get a blower on sale for $240, $245, I get a charger and a battery and the new 765 blower CFN, but I don't think I need that much. I need 530 CFN, which is which a lot of people say if you put on high, it's basically without turbo, not juicing the shit out of the battery, you get 530 CFN straight on high. And everyone keeps saying cruise control. In the old 5 CFN, uh, 530, you gotta hold it. Hold this trigger the whole time for the air to blow. Apparently this is on cruise control. Once you adjust it, unless on the very low, it will turn on and off. Let's try again. So, yeah. Once it's on cruise control. Okay. So there's that. Look like there's different power. Interesting. Uh, look like it's more powerful when you pull the trigger. Even just on the cruise control. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm going to pull the trigger much more powerful so even on cruise control you hit the trigger somehow become twice more powerful no idea why no idea why okay I have no way to test it but either way there's a cruise control that's good pull the battery out we'll charge it charge it and let's go find out if this fits on the hook Anything else in the, in the box? Nope. So you get a charger, 320 watts of charger with most likely a three, third generation, five amp battery. And you get this guy, this guy, which I, I can't wait to use this guy. This will be really cool. Um, a strap, oh. Maybe this is for the strap. Maybe that's for the strap. Okay, let's go ahead and open it. Because I think people want to know what, where, this, where the strap go. I want to know. Okay, even most of us probably not going to use the strap. Okay, it's a single sling strap. Single sling, single attachment strap. Okay, there's no other attachments. This little pad here. Okay, there's adjustment, however you want to do, and here's the construction. So you loop it, let me stop moving so people can see it. You loop it, okay, okay, it's a single sling. And I believe this just hook onto, let me get close so you guys can see it. Okay, it doesn't go. It doesn't go unless you click into it. Maybe Do you have to click into it. Click into it. 
think that's what it is. You gotta click. Even though there's a little gap here, you have to click into it in order to make sure it takes it. Okay, I'm going to wash car, so I don't really need this thing. But dry car. Is there another attachment somewhere here for the strap? Nope, no attachments. Okay, well, maybe in the back. Nope. All right, so let's go ahead and try this on the hook. Uh, oh, you have to get this thing. Just blow your mind. Watch. Watch. Let me see. Red, red, wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. Short. Short as fuck. It's awesome. And you got short nozzle. There's already a rubber piece. You can add an additional one on there to protect the, that one. Makes no difference. It's just a... And... Wait. Wait for it. No. No. No, I was pushing my lock. No. It's not the extension. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I don't think... Wait a minute. Uh, no. Let me see. Yeah, it's too big. So, no, no, not gonna work. No. Okay. But this will work. This original fast fastener will work with the tip. Obviously, this will work, but it would not work for the old 530 exchange uh, tubes. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and try this, see if it fits on the hook. Okay, I'm going to explain to you what's happening. There's that one hooking onto it, there's another hook. Let's see if I can get proper zoom okay let's try it okay the hook is right there here's the other hook you can see there's another hook right here okay that was hooked right behind the old 530 so hook right in okay so that's how I placed it but the new one is probably asking me to hook it upside down Yeah, that doesn't look very safe to me. Let's see. I have to get over on to the other side to take a look. Okay. What I see here. Ah, oh, it's not bad. It is not bad. Let me move the camera over. Show you what I'm looking at before the battery goes dead. Okay. So it does hook. It's quite a bite to it. Right. So it does hook. And because it is hooking and I'm pulling on it, Strong. I don't think it's gonna fall off. The back leg is this too is holding to it. Well, thanks for watching. The battery might be dead anytime. Just flashing at me. I think it works. It works perfect. Let's see if I can get a good angle to, to it. Okay, we're literally talking about like a, a quarter, uh, three quarter inch but on the hook it's fine it's not gonna fall off there's another way to do this oh shit things just falling apart yeah okay 
if I take this down, yeah, it's not gonna work. What if I just hook? Another question is, that's not gonna hang there. What if I just hook this way? Barely holding on to it. I guess that's one way to do it if, it, if you want to. It won't go anywhere. There's nothing to hook there. Need a bigger hook though. Need to get by a bigger hook for it. But. In the end. Sorry. I think that's fine. This hook will do. Okay, thanks for watching again. Let's go and turn off the close the garage door. Both blower will sit there just fine. Okay. All right. It's not focusing as well as I was hoping. Okay, that works. Okay, real quick video on the short nozzle. I don't wanna make another video. So for someone who owns a 530 tube, okay. Will the back fit in? No, it doesn't fit the back. Okay. Will the front attachment fit in? The front attachment will not fit. It will not click. It's basically too small. Okay, but if you snuggle all the way up, I mean, it's on there. I guess you can still use it. I'll, I'll probably still use it. If you jam it in there, the rubber piece will will hold the old nozzle. Just won't click because it's too wide in the back. Okay, so if you're thinking about to buy this for your 530, this old this short nozzle, knowing this won't click to this, but there's no well, okay, you can still pull it off. Well, if you're really jamming into it on the third line, you can. You just need to tap it and you can still blow it. I'm not sure it's a good idea because it might just fly away. You might have to tape it, put a duct tape it or something. But it's, it's on there, it's on there, but you can pull it off. Okay, all right, thanks. Hit thumbs up, thank you.